metadata is simply information about other data. On the screen, I have an example of metadata that I've added to an illustration I used in an online class I used to teach. It's a picture of a spreadsheet. The metadata, that is the information about the picture, includes the date and time I saved it, the size of the file, tags about the content of the picture, and a three-star rating. Normally, we don't even have to worry about this. Most of us only know how to put gas and maybe oil in our cars, and yet we drive perfectly well. Sometimes, though, we need to be a little concerned. One of those times is when we want to share a file that we've created. Once something goes out on the internet, even if we know the person we're sending it to well, there's really no control over how many people actually see it. One example was recently in the news. Several media outlets reported that a letter sent by a group of representatives to federal regulators was actually written by a lobbyist. Whoops. If the lobbyist had cleared that metadata before sending the letter to Congress, nobody would ever have known that he wrote it. For personal users, metadata is usually just a privacy issue. We don't necessarily want everyone to see where and when we took a picture or who the original author of an office document was. Fortunately, it's easy to remove personally identifying metadata before uploading a file to the internet. In Windows Explorer, you just right-click on any file you're planning to upload to the internet and choose Properties from the shortcut menu. Then, on the Details tab, you can scroll down to see what information is included with the file. If there's anything you don't want to share, just click the link at the bottom that says Remove Properties and Personal Information. When you click that Remove Properties link, the Remove Properties box comes up and you can click to select the information you want to remove, or you can create a copy with all possible properties removed, which is what I usually do. So I just click OK, and OK again, and we see we have a file that's a copy. If we look at the properties of that file, you'll see that my, my name has been removed as the author. So that's the one that's ready to go up to the internet. Don't forget though, but metadata can be really useful. Perhaps you want to get credit for your work, and your name as the author of the document can help ensure that you do. In this famous photo from the White House Situation Room, you can see that the metadata has been carefully edited to explain details about the photograph before it was released. If I hover over, you'll see that there's a long explanation of what is there and what was done to the photograph before it was released. And the copyright information. So I'm just saying this does not mean that Barack Obama endorses this video. Too bad, but there it is. Okay, you can add tags to your own files with metadata, which can help others find your work online, or it can help you find it on your hard drive. To do this, just open the folder containing the files you want to describe. Click on any file to select it, and then you can edit the metadata at the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to add tags to this photograph. This was taken in Norwich. Um, it was taken in 2010. I like to tag my photos with their date. I'm just going to use the arrow key to go the other side of the colon. And it's the River Wensum. And that's good there. I'll give it a four-star rating. And I don't care about the... So let's say... Um, taken by Lina, Right there. Okay, so I've, I've edited the tags and metadata the way I wanted. So now I'm going to click Save. Tagging your pictures is super useful if, for example, you have a lot of photos and sometimes have trouble finding the one you're looking for. You can enter a tag into, into the search menu at the start box 
and all files will that, with that tag will be listed. See, when I enter Winsome, up comes that photograph that we just worked with. I just tagged it. But this is super handy because it allows you to group your photographs in whatever way works for you or your other files. So this is an upside to metadata, which given the news of late seems to be nothing but bad. But as you can see, it's mixed. All you have to do is understand it and manage it. And then you'll be using the power of metadata to your advantage, not your disadvantage. Thanks for listening.